Mario, Mario, where far out thou, Mario? There you are. <laughs> you drew this. And you asked, can we fix it up? Yes, we can. So, let's take your old drawings. Let's drink your drawings that you're unhappy with. And let's fix them up. Let's see how we can make this drawing into something even more cool and funky than it is already. Let's see it. <laughs> So welcome back. Well today is a really special one because I've had quite a few people asking me how to improve a drawing when you've done a drawing. How to improve on it. How to make things better. And I've got a few things that I'm going to go through with you today. And um, before I start doing that I need a piece of paper of course. So here we are piece of paper and what we're going to do is we're going to talk through some of the things that this drawing of Mario <laughs> Mario um, how can we improve him now this has been drawn following my videos drawing my my how to draw videos and these are really looking good so how can you take that and how can you just tweak it? How can you just and make it even better? Now, usually when I look at a drawing, usually what I do is I try to break it down into smaller pieces. So I don't, you know, first of all, you look at the whole drawing and then you start saying, well, okay, how could I make the hands better? Right. Let's concentrate on drawing a hand. Let's get concentrate on drawing a tie or a belt or a and you just focus on those little elements as you go but there's a couple of things that we can talk about first um let's find an old rough piece of paper somewhere and we can we can work on something and work it out there we go there's a rough old piece of paper so a few things to think about as you're going through your videos as you're going through your uh, drawings um think about it let's just draw it with a biro okay just a normal biro and we're going to break down the head and the structure of the head and what we're trying to gain with by drawing this character who we have called mario okay so the first point is that we are thinking like you have this fantastic shape of a head. Now, how could we improve that shape? At the moment, we basically have a shape that is something like that. Okay, there's his eyes there. And that's where his nose is there. And his head is this type of shape, which is a great shape. But what we're looking for here is we're trying to improve. Okay. So there's a smile. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, so the first thing that I would do is how can I change that around? How can I make that a little bit more appealing? How could I make... Now he's got this lovely smile. So what I'm thinking about is maybe we could emphasize the smile a little bit more. We could make that smile even bigger than it is. So... I would do something maybe a little bit more to the, the idea of your head structure is here. Can you see that? Let's bring him in a little bit more. That's his head structure there, a nice circle with another circle underneath. Fabulous. Brilliant. But what about if we were to do a little bit more of a squashed circle? A little bit more of a squashed egg type of shape. To really make that smile even bigger. So that what we're doing is that we are doing Mario and we are going to bring in his head and then we're going to make that smile even bigger. That's where you start to find your character by, by 
changing the proportions. Anything that looks too too similar, that head and that head, or that circle and that circle, you can move and you could make an even bigger smile. There's his big smile there. Now it doesn't really change much of the character, but what it does is it makes that smile even bigger, makes the character more appealing. And that's what we're going to try to do with this. We're going to try and change the shape. Now, as you can see that my my circle here, my squashed circle, is slightly different to this curve that's coming on here. Now, it matches this, which is very good, but it doesn't match this part. So again, we can just push that a little bit further. And what we can do is we can take our circle. We love drawing circles by now, don't we? Don't we? And what we can do is we can do this shape here, which is going to follow the smile. There's the smile there. And what we can do is we can curve this also up. So that it gives us a feeling of him pushing these cheekbones up. So we can move this even bigger, even further up. So, now Mario's got an even bigger smile. And that pushing up of the cheekbones here is giving this massive big smile but what it has done is it's lost this space so what I'm going to try and do is I like the length of this head because he also has a very long head which gives him that lovely elegant kind of feeling that I'm going to draw another head and I'm going to leave a gap as we did there with this to give him that coming in feeling that we did here with this drawing and then we are going to bring his big smile up like that now by taking elements from that drawing this point here where you've pushed the cheeks in and this part here where you've brought the mouth back out we're basically giving him this much more we've followed your curve here and we've made that smile bigger now that already is giving us such a great shape to start with and that's the, the small little things that you can start to do you can start to look at your shape and say how could i make that shape better how could i make this shape better i could do this Okay, how could I make that even better? Oh, I could do this. I could bring the cheeks. Then you start to think about maybe I could take this part that I like here and this part that I like here and you could do something like this. Then what you've got is you, you've got a very big smile there. Look at that. That's all his teeth in there. And all of a sudden, you've got this fabulous big smile. And that pushes the whole shape. It makes this whole character bigger. The smile bigger. The character bigger. Now you can start to think about, well, have I done this head too big? Could I make that head a little bit smaller? And you can start to refine your character. Okay, maybe I'll make that a little bit smaller. And now all of a sudden, you're starting to get a very defined shape from him. And you're starting to take elements that you've already done. There's nothing here that's new. I'm just pushing this cheekbones going in and this jaw sticking out. And I'm just bringing it out even more. Now, what I've done here is I've done this smile that goes into a point. But on this drawing, the teeth are kind of like, they're almost like a big sausage shape, which I love. I love the fact that his mouth is like, it's that shape, you know? And that kind of gives this lovely wide mouth, which is much better than 
this going into a point this kind of gives that feeling out he's out to please somebody you know and you could put that kind of smile into that type of shape of face that's where we're starting to have some of these elements of making your drawing better by taking some things and just seeing where you can adjust things where can you make it better and all this time that you're reworking your character you're actually making all the structure of it better because you're refining it thinking well there's the center of my head there's my eyes and look even where the ear position is isn't that fabulous it's absolutely fabulous you've got these ears that are sticking out here Now, if you take that and you draw that on there, look at that. Doesn't that look almost like a little kind of monkey almost feeling to it? And it gives us very confident, bring that onto that. You're starting to, to work some of these things to make your character even more appealing, even more beautiful. Okay? So... That is the way that we work through there with the hands, okay? The hands is another thing. You got one hand that's in this type of thing, and then this one you kind of you know, you kind of given up with that finger. That's kind of like a little little stumpy finger. Things like that. Whereas you can go through and you can draw your circle for your hand, and then you can basically take one, two, three, four one thumb okay that's your hand that's the basic structure of your hand and if you've got that structure in your mind what you will do is you will start to think about it's a hand i don't know how to draw a hand i cannot draw a hand okay so let's break that down there you go you can draw a circle there's your circle okay breaking these things down and then you got your four lines start from here that's going to be where your wrist is going to be okay and you take out one line one two three four okay and what you're going to do is from there anywhere along there take a point about halfway maybe and just draw simplifying things down there's your hand you can draw lines you know where the center is of that little space. You've done a circle. You've done some lines. That's your basics. Okay. Now, with a couple of extra circles. One. Two. Keeping that all in a nice shape. Two. Three. Four fingers. Okay. So, even thinking about that in the most simplest form if I was to take a big black pen so that you can see very clearly what I'm going to do that's me just drawing it around drawing that around the circle bringing that back down bringing it out bringing it around the circle bringing that back out around the circle and back out and around the circle back out around the circle and back and we have a very cool hand in a very basic form. So now with these basic little rules in here, you can start to put your character together. Okay, so we are going to do that. We're going to draw up Mario into a structure, a drawing. Thinking about these rules, thinking about these basic points, and that will help us hugely into the next stage of this okay so let's put mario into a drawing let's make him a character okay so <clears throat> nice clean piece of paper our construction so keep an eye on that um and we will go back to our character of mario and that is basically the drawing that we're going to follow. Now it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to keep Mario in. Maybe I can, maybe I can fold Mario in half so we just get his character. There 
There we are. Hopefully you can see that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in a couple of proportion lines just so that we've got something very clear here. We're going to have a head. That's our circle and that's our big circle. Giving him that big smile. And then we're going to break him down into his character, into his body, with his long legs. Let's make that a little bit shorter. Down to his legs. And then he's got those cool shoes down here. Now, what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and think about those structures and we're going to draw it in our own style. Um, let me see if I've got another brush pen here. That might work. <clears throat> so let's draw him with a brush pen. Okay, and as we go, we'll talk through some of those steps. So, we've got his head, so we're going to go around in that circle. And we are going to bring it down into that big smile. Sorry for my squeaky pen. <laughs> That gives us a fabulous shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to have our eyes that are the same as that. We're going to keep them nice and close together. And in this stage, I might even make one slightly smaller just to... We're going to bring the nose down to about here. So can you see the way that we're beginning to, to put this drawing together? We're putting in our freckles, which were brilliant. Again, adding to the character brilliantly. I love his eyebrows. His, his eyebrows are very kind of straight, almost like he's quite serious and... Very cool. And now if we bring that in. We're bringing that around. Now we're changing Mario. And we're thinking it more of a character. A character study. A character design. And we're putting in those big teeth. Now, I love his little ears. Let's put his little ears on here. And again, we're just going to do a little line inside the ear. Kind of give it that feeling that it's a little like the inner line. Again, I love this little hair that he's got on the top. Very, very cool. Kind of gives him like he's just in, been in to have his hair done, you know. Very neat, very tidy. So we already have a very cool looking Mario just by changing some bits of the design. So his neck. Okay, so he's got a, a kind of like a shirt collar here, but he has a tie. It almost looks like he doesn't have a shirt collar. It almost looks like it's a, a tie. Maybe he's got one of those jackets where, you know, those cool guys you just wear a jacket over with no t-shirt and then they have a tie so let's let's go along with that so let's give him a big tie and as we're doing this think about the shapes so very cool now the only thing there is it looks like the the tie is coming out 
but there isn't a line there on the jacket of the lapel so I'm going to add one just so that it gives me a defined jacket now if you were to do that the color of the skin the same color as his neck or his face might look really like a cool boy you know again the jacket is done brilliantly I love the way that jig 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 and one collar, one part of the lapel is bigger than the other part. Again, very cool. So let's let's get that. Very big, then a small, back in. Very big, back in, nice and small. So there's most of our character. Now he's got these incredible shoulders, these big tough guy shoulders. So let's keep those. Now again, this curve on the chest is lovely. The way the chest is curved like that kind of gives him this feeling that he's like, hey, I'm a, I'm a cool guy, I'm a tough guy, that type of thing. And I love that, especially because the lines here on the jacket are straight down the middle. That means it's a nice tight jacket. It's his chest that's puffing out. So we're going to do that. We're going to bring that. Again, all the little buttons on it make it look a very stylish, kind of Italian style jacket. Brilliant. And we've got his chest. We're going to follow those lines around. Again, drawing the pattern on the, the jacket is very, very cool. So we're going to draw his arms out. I'd make his arms a little bit longer. And that will help with this jacket, kind of like making him look a little bit more tough. Oh, we forgot one something really important. We forgot his mustache. I don't quite know why we called him Romeo, but. <laughs> no, we called him Mario. I don't know why we called him Mario. He's got that kind of Latino type of look to him. So, we're going to add our pattern. Again, very, very nicely done. Lovely idea to have this a man with a stuck out chest and he's got this this flowery sh jacket on. It's very cool. I love that. So you can actually see that there's a lot of elements of of your drawings that are really cool. You're just getting very negative about your own drawings. And the negativity part is something that you need to stop because even the most simplest and childish of drawings sometimes are sometimes so beautiful I love sometimes very kind of primitive art it's so beautiful but these are lovely designs these are lovely drawings with a lot of character so whoever drew this has got some kind of creativity to them. There's a lovely creative view there of this guy. And you should be very pleased with this drawing. You shouldn't think that there's anything wrong with this drawing. And, you know, to be very, very honest, as I'm looking at my drawing, that's much more controlled and much more constructed. I still prefer this one. It's got that fresh feeling to it. And that is what art is all about. It's capturing that, that moment when you're drawing it. When you're drawing this, you're very happy, you're afraid. Oh, look, look at where his arm is. Look at this, look at that. It's a very beautiful, natural feeling for it. Give me his little 
cuff and then we're going to go in to draw some hands and you know how to draw a hand now you've done all those hands you've got that construction sheet there And it gives us this lovely kind of wobbly feeling to the, the hand. So again, there's something very beautiful about the way that this has been put together. I love the logo. See, even thinking about the logo on the, it's got a lovely V logo to it. Now again with these trousers, I like the way that the trousers have got a slight bend to them. And I might just push that a little bit more. I might just bring the trousers out to be a little bit more. And again, I love the turnips on the trousers, very stylized. And basically what this, by puffing out the trousers, giving this feeling of everything having a nice kind of curve to it you know it's kind of like his chest and his waist and his legs again the beautiful design with the pocket like even the design of the trousers here is really really fabulous so take a lot of confidence from your own drawings please and what I hope you will take from this is that number one I haven't really changed very much but number two that you will sometimes have this thing that okay maybe this is a better constructed drawing but I still like this one and it's better drawn this and that's more construction with that but I still like this so this kind of appeal is very 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 much where you will win with your drawing Somebody might say, I love that. It's got such character. It's got such flow with it. And you might get to the point where somebody would love yours much more than somebody who's drawn it all up beautifully. And I'm not saying that I've drawn it up beautifully. Bringing it in. Drawing that hand. I almost kind of feel like he's holding his wallet or something, you know. See, mine starts to look a little bit worried, whereas this looks confident. See, so see how how much that has changed. So again, once you've you've done that, you can go back through and you can do all your little flowers on your on your jacket. So please write to me, send me a comment and tell me how much you love this one compared to this one. Please. Because every person that sends me a comment and says this drawing is much better than this one will then look at your own drawings and you'll start to say my drawings have got character my drawings have got something special about them that's why sometimes when I draw my my characters if I draw a rough drawing down first stiffens everything up and maybe at the end of this I'll draw another version with in ink just to show you how styles can change
So when you're doing it, you enjoy every little flower that you draw, every little stage of it. And you will start to feel like so much of your drawing is beautiful. And that is very, very important. Now I've had so many people writing to me and saying that their drawings are dreadful and they're, they're afraid to show anybody their drawings. This lesson has shown you how cool you are and how much you should show people your drawings. How you should be proud of what you've done at whatever level you think you are. You have something special. And even from this, you will start to feel like your drawings have got some something remarkable about them. Fantastic. And even when I'm trying to do the flowers, I'm trying to do it in a way that's kind of keeping the same style, the same feeling as what has been done. Lovely. Now we've got again down to the shoes. This is very cool because there's no socks. And you see a lot of those cool guys kind of wearing shoes, fancy shoes and no socks. My son does it. So... We're going to draw the leg coming through and we're going to draw those lovely big shoes. Again, I'm copying exactly your shoes. I'm going to draw some, make my shoelace area a little bit more clear. I'll draw a little bow tie on it. Maybe I'll put some little, and again, with the underside of the shoe. And it's only little details that I'm adding. I'm changing nothing with this drawing. So, please go and look at your drawings. Please look at what you're doing. Number one, Number one, say, did I have fun doing this? If the answer is yes, it's a great drawing. It's a remarkable drawing. If you had fun doing it, that's the best thing you can get from it. Obviously, the second best is if somebody says, oh, I love that. Can I give you a million pound? You know, we're not going to turn that down, right? They're like, oh, a million pound. Okay, I'll take two for it. But make sure you have that feeling. Make sure you get that enjoyment out of doing it. And there's our Mario drawn with just some kind of constructional things. The main thing being that I am changing only what I feel could be construction. Okay, like the shape of the head, maybe this, maybe that, maybe I could emphasize the smile. But this is nice, this has got so much character already in it. And the suit is fantastic, it works with the character. So you have a lot of stuff in your drawing that you're putting in there, a lot of thought that you're putting in there. Maybe if you were to redraw this, the same person, was to redraw this, it might already look better. It might look better and better and better and better. But with every single drawing that you do, it has its own character. It has its own special appeal because of the natural form that you've done it in. The special way that you've just drawn it where you're smiling. And why you're drawing these, you don't care. And that's magical. The fact that you've drawn this and you don't care what people say about it, that's what you need to keep.
that's what's really important about art. It's really important about your drawing or your art or your painting or your whatever. Draw it for you. Unless somebody's paying you a million pound, draw it for you. Get the pleasure of drawing it for you. So, this was Mario and this was a redraw of someone's drawing that they sent me. Okay, so please have confidence in your drawing. Okay, think about if you want to improve it, if you want to draw it, what could you do better? Okay, and just do it in a small increments. Do with the head, do with the nose. You know, you could go back and you could say, well, you know, maybe the nose, maybe I could draw a nose that's a little bit more kind of like that type of nose. You know, maybe I could give him a nose that's something like that. Uh, maybe maybe my eyelashes are too short. Maybe I could give him some big long eyelashes. Oh, that's too long. Okay. Well, maybe I could give him a nice thick outline to the eye. Maybe that would help it. Maybe that would give him a little bit more of a, a kind of glamorous look that I gave him that kind of eyeliner type look to it. So there's so many of these little improvements that you can do to kind of adjust your character and make it into a better, better character, okay? So, I hope that helped in some kind of crazy way. Thank you very much for watching. And today's drawing, Mario. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Come back again soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.